And also too, also too, you know, you know me, and I guess the, well for the people who know me, I just believe that the universe, you know, resides in the mind. So if you have an, if you got that imagine, you can imagine things. Then, you know, shit, just you can go take a trip in nature, pretty yep. much, for the most part. Go go to nature, and you can get inspired by nature. You know, different things might come to you through spirit. <laughs> That's really so true because I I went on a, even today, like I just woke up and I was just, you know, I just was like, you know what, at the church, after my service, I'm just going to go out for a walk. I, you know, just as like doing some cardio, get out there. It's a nice day, you know, just to experience. And like, like I said, like as creatives, we need to get out there and just experience life. So exactly. that's definitely, you know, something that I definitely understand with you. Right. So just after that, with uh, another question I was going to ask is after, you know, if some of you guys don't know, I was saying, as y'all already know, you guys have to listen to all of his music. He is streaming on all platforms. You know, me personally, I am a supporter of the people's title. But <laughs> you actually released um, Black America in 2019. So I know that um, that was such a dope ass mixtape. So I would call it, is it a mixtape or are we going to call it an EP? It's, it's a mixtape. Okay. So um, I would say that, you know, that was one of my favorite, my favorite, you know, I love that Ratchet song with the, uh, you ain't gang, my nigga. You know, that was exactly. my thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I appreciate that. Okay. So after the first mixtape of Black America last year, what do you think that your new project that, that you are creating now, what is going to be the difference between that and your new one that you are actually going to be doing? Well, I mean, you know, as you heard the snippets of some of the music I got, with this album, you know, I can talk about all day about how black people are oppressed and everything. I don't want to give that out. It's like a sob story to me at a point. It's like, it's too, it's too redundant. What I want to do with my new album, I want to give the listeners a little bit of everything. Mm. You know, I got something you could vibe to, something you could chill with your lady to, something you could chill with your homies. I got something that you can ride in the summer with. You can be shaking women can shake the ass or whatever i'm trying to give them everything in this album i don't really i have a theme for it it's self-titled oliver that's what the new mixtape is called for, and for my mixtapes for the listeners who know my mixtapes are mixtapes but i don't like my mixtapes to be mixtape i like giving the album feel i like album I, feel. Okay. I, I create an album out of it but i'm giving them pretty much everything i'm giving them lyrics i'm giving them some bump you know, I'm giving them something you can chill to, something you can smoke to, whatever, whatever it is. I'm trying to make music for it every occasion of life yes. to embody in this album. And so, I would definitely say, because, you know, I was able to listen to a little bit of snippets and some songs. They are some bangers, honey. OK, we already and just talking from after hearing the song Queen, we all know that, like, for me, in my perspective, I, you know, I would assume that this is a anthem for all women, beautiful Black women out there. So I kind of, like, know the answer now from the previous um, question that I asked from what is your influence. But, you know, what exactly made you create the song Queen? Um, women. Beautiful women. <laughs> I love it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Pretty much, I just, I make some songs off of visions I have. So what I can do is I can envision beautiful woman, for example. And I'm, I came up with a song called Queen. That's just how it works sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 the way I go about making some of my tracks is actually really a beautiful process. And, you know, and when the album's finished, um, I want to do like a little documentary about, you know, how I went about actually creating it. Because I feel right. like a lot, a lot of artists, a lot of artists don't give their fans uh, that look, that insight. I want to be, I want to, I want to be personable. Yeah, I'm an artist, but I'm still a human being at the end of the day. Right. So, what I want to, you know, get into. But as far as the queen, yeah, definitely beautiful women. You know, what I'm saying actually beautiful women. 
are my huge inspiration. They, the reason why I create some of the music that I create now, you know, that, that vibe, mm-hmm. you know, I do it, I do a lot, I do it for the ladies a lot of times. You do it for the ladies, you do it yes, for sir. the women. Go ahead, girls, y'all see, he's doing it for y'all, honey, okay? Only, only the girls, okay? Not, not the not girls only. like me, honey, but you know, the it's, girls, it's, the it's women. Not, it's not only the, it's not only the women, but you know what I'm saying? They, they are a big, portion of my inspiration of your inspiration especially yeah. for that song queen so my the follow-up for that is who are the queens in your life like who exactly would you consider the queens in your life at the moment right now my mother my sisters my daughters my my grandmother my aunts you know what i'm saying those are the they're, they're the hierarchy right mm-hmm. now in the pyramid of the queens in my life that i, I, I love I know that's right. It's like a level, okay? It's it's family. The family queens, and there ain't nobody else, honey, okay? Yes. Period. So explain, the second song that we um that we listened to was Slow Down. So that was actually, that's actually my favorite song. I love the beat of that song. I love the melodic. I love me a slow vibe that I can just, you know, take my little pen and just vibe to. Okay, so explain the song Slow Down. How did you exactly create that song? And shout out, shout out to Iman Amari. Iman Amari, he's the uh, producer. He's from LA. He's a singer as well. You guys should definitely check his music out too, but he's the producer of that track. Hmm. Um, actually, I created Slow Down and Queen in the same day. Um, Honestly, to tell you the truth, Tupac, Tupac has a uh, Tupac has an interview and he said, "Listen, sometimes we'd be rapping, we'd be rapping, we don't even know what we'd be saying. It'd just be the dead homies talking." Right. And I get it because you know when I created the song, I'm, I was in my room and I was smoking. I just started rapping to the beat. I just started freestyling to the beat. You know what I'm saying? And just I just started flowing. The whole purpose of that song is talking about young men slow down because like this world we're living in. I personally feel like a lot of it, a lot of it is fake, a lot of it is bullshit, it's a facade. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of a lot of young black men nowadays I feel are in too much of a rush to grow. But there's a lot of things we need to learn first before we take those steps. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that's pretty much where that where that came from. You know, just I just wanted people to especially for the for the young brothers out there to just slow down and just listen, look at life. Don't be hasty, don't make any hasty decisions, you know, just think educate yourself right you know in life this is sometimes it's um it's praise sometimes that you know living on the fast lane and giving like you know living life like you know zoom 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 always getting to the top and it's right. always faster to get to the top but you know i understand like with myself with also growing um you do have to slow down and you do have to even reevaluate things that you've done in the past because of the fact that you lived your life in that fast lane. Right, for so, sure. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely, that song was something that actually kind of resonated with me because I'm like, wow, that's so true because, you know, you, you know, a part of that song was saying that you were rushing so fast in your, in your life that, you know, that you definitely have to know that you do have to Take a little, take a little halt and right. reevaluate where you at, right. where you about to go. Because you know what happened when you be out here rushing too much, get that ass caught up. Okay. You yeah. out here rushing. You out we here rushing. Caught up too many times. Right. Because right. you, you rushing life. You're not really, you're not, you're not really looking at what's going on on the sides. You know what I'm saying? Because you're rushing. You're not paying attention. So mm-hmm. that's 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 a biggie. That's actually. That's actually to date one of my favorite songs that I have produced yet. You know, just the feeling of it. You know, it the, is. That's it, what I'm saying. It's just a vibe. Like the whole song is just like a complete vibe. The the way that you like, it's not like you just rapping. Like I said, like you know, you have like that kind of like D'Angelo feel with how you were singing on there, but then also you're rapping on there as well. But it's it's dope. I love it. It's dope. And that's the thing too. When I created that song, I told myself, you know, I mean. I just like to make music on a different level, period. You know, when I hear music, I like to think of how I'm going to attack the song. Yeah. So, you know, that's actually the first time I ever did that in the song because I took the uh, baritone note and then I went under it with the bass and I said, yo, I love the way that sound. Like, it gave me that nostalgic feel that I was talking about and that's something I ran with, you know, because... It's beautiful. It's, right, it. and it's different. And, you know, coming from where we come from, I, I don't really see... I don't really see that that happening too much and i'm like you know what 
I like this. I'm a, I'm gonna go with it. But definitely, that's one of my favorite tracks, and I'm I'm glad you like that track because that's that, that that's for us. It that's, is that's absolutely. One more question that I have for you is just give us a little rundown or like the process of how you create your wonderful dope ass music. Like what exactly? Like you know, are you like you were saying? Like you know, you you say that you get inspired by you driving. So what exactly? What is the creation process of a song like Slow Down or a song like Queen that you have or like songs that you made on Black America? Um. Well, for my actual song creating process, I I have an unorthodox process. Like I have different pro like this song that I create. I just got off of work. I'm in my car smoking. I hear a beat. I just start freestyling. That's how I come up with some of my songs. Um, you know, I I take a trip to in nature and get inspired by that. Mm -hmm. Also, being in the city too. Being in the city, I feel inspires you as well because you're looking at all the bright lights, all the tall buildings. It makes right. you it makes you say, you know what? I want to create some dope shit. I want to, I want to create something where I can create wealth to be able to thrive here in this, in this, in this area. That's mm -hmm. not really the biggest thing as far as me creating music. But you know, I just like creating music off a of vibe. However, I feel, however I feel at the time, that's how the music comes out. So right. What, and what sometimes was, you do have to feel like that because those are all inspirations. You know what I'm saying? You go into the city and seeing these things that's an inspiration for you to make these songs and make something about it could be not specifically the main thing like you said but it's just all types of inspirations that you it, yeah it, it gives you it gives you drive to want to to want to do more exactly you know that, that's, and that's, that's another thing for traveling that's why i say like with traveling with me it just i feel like that i feel like that i love to travel because it just gives me more drive that i'm like Nigga, you don't have to stay in this right. space. For exactly. Your life. exactly. <laughs> like you, like it, it gives you the drive to, like you know, I want to go out and I want to get this. I want to be able to be here whenever the hell I want to. Exactly. I ain't, trying to work, I ain't trying to work no nine to five. I'm just trying to be here creating. That's what I want to get paid for. That's it. I feel like that's what my purpose is. Mm -hmm. So, me knowing my purpose, me figuring out what my purpose is in life, is to create. That's what I go for. Period. Period. Sure. So when are we going to be expecting this new mixtape? When are we going to be expecting well, Oliver? I'm actually getting ready to drop a track in a couple of weeks, within like the next one or two weeks. Um, I want to drop the album on my birthday, September 22nd. But of course, with the whole coronavirus thing going on, it kind of, we're going to see how it works, how, how, how it plays out. But it kind of right. pushed back. Things are starting to open back up. So, you know, slowly but right. surely, you right. both may have a open. chance. Right, I'm trying. I'm trying to be on it, but definitely, um, you know, I'm gonna be putting sounds out, a couple of visuals coming as well. Yeah. And by, by my birthday, September 22nd, so I would like everybody to look out for that because See, that number 22, honey. Okay, that number 22. My birthday's May 22nd, September 22nd. I was gonna tell you that too. Though. I was gonna tell you that too the other day. I was like, wow, I'm I'm a, I'm a 22 too. That's a master number right there. See? Definitely. I like that. We already see. That's why. That's why. Okay, we here. <laughs> we here. Turn up. Okay, but yeah, on, thank my birthday, what was you gonna just, say? on my birthday, I'm looking to uh, put that out, and you know, I just yeah, I hope everybody likes it. Do I? Because it's amazing. Like this Everyone's is actually the first time. Life. This is actually the first time in my life where I'm making music for myself. Like the Black in America, like that's how I felt. I was angry at the time. I was angry at all the shit that was going on. So that's right. the type of music I have put out. But now I'm in a different space in my life. Now you know, I'm about to be 27. You know, I'm living different. I'm cool where I'm at. Right. You know, fight the stress that I deal with in life. I'm making music for myself. I'm becoming my own artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm growing as a person, as a human being, as a man. So it's like now, I'm like, you know what? If you like my music, cool. If you don't like it, cool. I'm making music for myself. You know, Period. I want to make I want to be able to make music that I can listen to whenever. And you know, same for other people. I'm doing it for them too, but it's more so for myself. Definitely. As you should, and that's really what it should be about. It should always be about you. When right. as musicians, you as because you guys are, we're all creators. You know, I would, I would have considered myself as a musician, but you know, a bitch can sing, so I kind of understand. And right. I've been around music my whole life, so I completely understand when you know the times come where you are in a certain space that you have to create all of this music, and then now you're in a different space where you just want to create stuff for you. So right. I respect that. 
but you also have to know that there are people out here that love your music. So you don't have to, you don't have to think that it's just you because it's not. Because I am a number one fan of yours. And, okay? uh, and Robbie, Robbie Rockington, definitely, he actually helped me a lot. He helped me a lot when it comes to music. He actually inspired me because there was a time I wasn't making music at all. After my mm -hmm. brother passed, after my brother passed away, I was like, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna do this. And then, you know, Dante, little Uber, he came out of jail. He started rapping. I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is something I should, I should give a, you know, I should give it a run. Right. Um, you know, so I started doing what I do again, and I started making the music for myself. Uh, I didn't want to really do it for other people because I feel like that's where, where, that's where people will fuck up at because right. when you make music for other people, everybody's not going to like this stuff. You have to understand that. So as an artist, I know artists can be really sensitive about their music and everything. And now where I'm at in life, I'm I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to make music for myself. I listen to my own music. This is the first time in my life where I'm actually creating something, creating music where I listen to my shit all of the times in my playlist. It's, it's, it's very, it's a special thing, but definitely shout out, shout out to those two. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Sure. Shout out to Robbie. Shout out to Robbie Rockington. Y'all already know that's, that's my B-U-D-D-Y. But, <laughs> but I want to I want to shout out I want to give a shout out to the people on my team too because yeah. if it wasn't for them, uh my boy Dev, my engineer Nick, um also space. Um definitely if it wasn't for those guys, then you know, I, I probably wouldn't be here right now. They definitely uh, you always definitely, need a team as a creator. You always need right. someone behind you to exactly. that if you don't know something, they do. So yeah. I completely understand. Shout out to everybody that is creating and creating your music and helping you be creative. And Oliver, honestly, I want to thank you for being on my segment of my show and taking the time out because time is valuable. Okay. Good. I want to thank you for having me, bro. I appreciate it. Definitely. This is a good platform. Like I said, you... You want something with this? This is this Thank is this you. is. Thank you. Yes, you know I'm trying to do something. You know I'm trying to do a little sound sign for the people, okay? You know yeah. because of the fact that I love music, I just feel like that. You know, I just feel like that every now and again, I always should just put this segment out just to give other artists an opportunity that are around here that cannot have that opportunity to just show themselves and get interviewed as easily as possible. Like they can't go on a, you know, a, like on a radio station or something like that. So I am here to present that for you guys. And I'm always honored to, you know, anyone that is asking me or anyone that I get connected to, I'm always honored to interview and get, you know, get more information and gems from you about your music and how you create. So I definitely appreciate you coming to uh, Cutie's Music Quarter, Oliver Wolf. And I, and I appreciate you for giving me the platform to do that. Definitely, that's, that, that's, that's big stuff right there, for sure. Thank you so much. So y'all, that is gonna be it of Cutie's uh, Music Corner. Thank you guys so much for joining. And you guys have to make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and Click that notification bell for more. All right, y'all, cutie out. By music collector. Yo, uh, 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 hey, yo, 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 it's low key. Uh, uh, what's the word? Yo, what's the, uh, what's the word? Yo, hey, hey. Young man, slow down. You're in a rush to grow. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Day in, day out, I live my life. I think of suicide.